Hi guys, welcome to another short video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and here's another video showing you uh, some of my stock. Now, I'm working um, some car boot sales this week. Um, it's a bank holiday weekend so there's three events ongoing. Um, so I have Splot and Bessemer tomorrow, I have Gethly Gear on Sunday and then I have Bessemer again on Monday or I could go to Malvin on Monday depending on how I am. Um, the likelihood of, of Malvin is slim to nil because of the children here at the moment. Um, uh, so, it is the local car boots. Now, I've decided, everybody who watches my films knows I don't sell silver and gold. I don't do it, I hoard it. However, I've decided to see whether or not I could actually start selling the lighter weight silver um, and actually bring in the money because i got so much gold and silver coming into me at the moment um, I'm going to see whether I can release the lightweight um, pieces for decent money and keep the heavy pieces that could be weighed in at a later time it's nothing worse than having to come up with 10 or 20 thousand pound you say okay you can take it all at weight and you're giving them two and three grams pieces that you can get 50 quid for so I bought myself some cases on Amazon. Now I had a little look through on Amazon and on Amazon they got little, only small, um, black fake leather or plastic cases if you like lined in velvet with glass paneling on the top um, and I bought a ring case that holds a hundred rings when it's full and I bought a brooch box with 24 separate compartments divided with uh, pieces of velvet and things. I've ordered myself a necklace one which haven't come yet and I've ordered myself a plain tray to take my coins but that haven't come yet. And they were averaging between, t well, the average one was £12 each but I have paid £20 for one which I think was the necklace one, I'm not sure. But the average price was around £12-£13. I'm going to show you these cabinets in a minute and they're actually full ready to go tomorrow so you'll actually get a glimpse of some of the pieces I've put in to let go of. Now as I've said I don't normally sell my silver and gold so if this works I'll have enough stock just taking the lightweight pieces and selling a light piece of silver for 15 or 20 quid instead of scrapping it for two or three pounds um, I'll have enough stock to last me the next two or three years. Um, I'm hoping it's going to draw people to the stall and sell a little bit and then I'll put it straight back in. I'm actually spending anything from £200 to £500 a week at the moment on silver or gold. Uh, well I can't keep sinking that money in, it's not an endless pit so I'm going to release some. You're going to get a look now at the trays ready to go out now tomorrow at Bessemer Road and you'll get to see the actual trays that I've bought with the glass lids and everything. So I hope you like it guys. Okay so these are the pieces. The t this one here and here are my old tr um, cases. I, they're the ones I use on an everyday basis for normal bits. And the two over here are the new ones which I'm going to show you in just a minute. Now what you'll notice in the centre here is the Precious Metals Act hall Hallmark card. If you're going to sell Precious Metal on a car boot sale, antique fair, anywhere at all, I think you're allowed to sell up to maybe four or five items before you have this card. And you have to have this card or you will get fined, assuming trading standards or someone comes around. So I've got my card ready. Um, so that'll have to go on the stall tomorrow because of the sheer amount of gold and silver I'm taking. So I'm going to give you a little glimpse guys now. I'm going to start off with my old cabinets. And bear with me, I'll tell you what I'm going to do is take the camera off the stand, it's easier. Sorry a bit jumpy a minute guys. Right, okay, so we're free. And bring some light over. Okay, so... Here's the uh, first of my cabinets that I'm taking tomorrow. I'm going to put a few more pieces in. But you can see here I've got silver pendants, silver bracelets, silver pen, silver brooches, silver bangles, napkin rings. That amazing silver uh, brooch. 
I've put to clear it on the car boot sale. Fifty five on it. So that's the first of the trays. What I done then because my necklace tray haven't come yet, I um used needles and stuck them into the uh, lining of this tray and I've dangled the necklaces off the needles onto the black lining. As you can see there's some run-of-the-mill pieces and some nicer pieces. You know you've got some beautiful ones here and the, this fish, I love this fish. So these are going to range sort of from £10 up to £30 depending on which one they're after. But again, that's an old cabinet I've converted to uh, take the necklaces. And obviously that's the sealed up one with the bits in. I'm going to put some more in there before I go. So, now we come to the ones I've bought. There's the cabinet that I've bought, guys. You can see it there. It's only a small cabinet. It shuts up. Got the clips on the front there. It's quite a nice cabinet. All the compartments are divided with their own walls and then I have filled it. And there is some beautiful pieces in here guys. Really is some fine items. This one cabinet's probably got close on 500 to 1000 pounds worth of priced up pieces in it. So some nice things. There's a couple of pieces in there. There's one in there over 100 and there's a couple of 40s and 50s so really pleased with that little tray then of course there's the ring tray which is another tray similar they are glass clipped at the front open them up this one is all rings you can see it's got all the lines the ridges to take the rings now what I've done I have a selection of silver and some gold. Now with the gold it's priced up everything is weighed what character is and priced up. Just give you an example one of the dearer pieces I've put in for the car boot sale. £155 for one diamond ring. Now there's not unrealistic prices there's a hundred pound of scrap just in that ring so it's a, a third of a carat of diamonds so you know it's not unrealistic to expect that type of money. Got some beautiful rings going out tomorrow, and they are reasonably priced, guys. Um, dearest silver ring was thirty pound. Cheapest is like seven or eight pound. But I'm really pleased. It's a nice little hoard, and as you can see, I've got plenty of rows left to fill up as I pull more rings out. So this is only an experimental run. Fingers crossed. It'll go well, and these will actually stack on top of each other in a box, nice and neat, not going to damage each other. So, as you can see, um, 10 12 pounds for the cabinets, they will, they'll work a treat. The only concern I got is they're small enough for someone to pick up and run off with. So, tomorrow I'm going to set my table behind the stall so they have to actually look and ask to handle something rather than going there themselves. I don't want them going into these cabinets uh, without asking me. Um, and I will over the weekend at some point if I can put some brackets on them and chain them together and chain them to the table uh, just for security reasons. So there's a nice little selection of silver to go in with the rest of my working stock. So hopefully if they start picking pieces off I don't need loads of it to sell and I don't need it to sell fast. Um, if I can sell three or four pieces a day then over the uh, the year that will really be a huge increase in revenue so fingers crossed anyway i'll leave it there guys hopefully you've enjoyed having a look at the cabinets that i've prepared for tomorrow and obviously looking at the new ones if anyone wants to buy those they are available on amazon uh, just run a search for jewelry display case and you have a variety of selections there and they are really really cheap so yeah if you've enjoyed watching guys I would appreciate a like and a share. If you're new don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell for notifications.
You'll find me on Facebook. I have a page and a group, Antiques Arena. You'll find me on eBay. Just run a search for Antiques Arena Clearance. And I have my own website, antiquesarena.co.uk and antiquesarena.com. Bye for now, guys.